Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday, October 10th. And we've got some green coming in today. NASDAQ and S&P are almost flat, but a little, little bit green. Uh, Dow's up a third of a percent. Um, Baba's up over 1%, Square up over 1%. A few stocks up about a third to half a percent. And a lot of other stocks pretty much flat, so... VIX down 1%. So hopefully we don't have issues with Zoom today, like I did yesterday. And uh, hopefully things are a little more normal than what they were yesterday. We'll see if the market continues to be a little funky based on uh, what's happening overseas or if uh, it kind of ignores that. It's been, uh, it's been very, very heartbreaking to see and hear things that are happening overseas there in Israel. So thoughts and prayers goes out to all those innocent people that, uh, have some very bad things going on. Sure was nice there for several years uh, where we had some peace over there, but the last couple of years, things have not gone so well. Trade the mighty ninety, mighty ninety, volume runner, continuation runner strategies. If you're new, welcome, and uh, make sure you go through those courses. They're in the day trades, day trading courses channel, and uh, you can always use Thinkorswim. It's available where you're at to paper trade. Uh, all you need is five hundred dollars in your account, in your Thinkorswim account, to have live data to paper trade with. I'm currently, actually, uh, I started here in October paper trading the zero DTE strategies. So, right, right now, I'm currently up about nine grand in the paper trading account. So. Still kind of still still kind of trying to figure out when exactly to use the iron condor and when to use the I got I gotta review better the reverse iron condor. Bell is wrong. Hopefully everyone can hear me okay. Dow starts out up 85, NASDAQ up 26, S&P up 8. I've got a few iron ducks on in my uh, alerts portfolio that all three are looking pretty good. Looks like I'm going to be probably booking beat profit on them.
Uh, stocks pushing up here. Microsoft pushing down. But getting a lot of green bars here so far. Let's see if that holds. Some stocks here are turning in red bars so far. Uh, they're kind of things are kind of flipping here a little bit. Netflix, Microsoft, showing some red bars here. Amazon kind of flipping back and forth. VIX down 2% now. Second bar here, so a lot of stocks finished green here, but they were coming down. Tesla, though, pushing up. Looking for some higher volume here. Microsoft pushing lows, NVIDIA push through lows.
Tesla getting some growing volume here. So it looks like Tesla's definitely going to get there. So we'll look, look for a little pullback there. And Tesla. That's all I'm really seeing right now, though. Today we trade the three days to expiration option chain. And I would trade the 262.5 calls in Tesla. 262.5. So I'm just going to watch price movement there. I'll put an order in at uh, 450. See if I can get filled there. If not, I'll adjust. It's got about a minute left. So. <clears throat> Square getting close. Don't think it's going to get there, though. Tesla definitely there now. No pullback in Tesla. Square did not get there. I really wish I could have gotten filled in Tesla there. I maybe should have been more aggressive. Because it's just flying higher. Should have known to get a little more aggressive. Sometimes when it grows so quick though, you know, it doesn't it doesn't always push push up. Good morning, Bumblebee. So I will look for some mighty nineties here now. Dow up 16, NASDAQ almost flat, S&P up 4. Morning, Jim. So I saw Tesla come down to about 480. And uh, they didn't get any lower than that in terms of price. I, I had an order in at 450. Did not get filled. So it hasn't really come back down there yet. And a little two way action going on, though, because we got stocks pushing and we got stocks coming down. Microsoft, Netflix pushing through lows. Tesla is just uh, pushing up now. Same with Roku, DKNG. Roblox, Square. So 
So sometimes it pays to be aggressive. Sometimes it, it doesn't. So probably would have gotten filled on half if I would have gotten in at 480 on Tesla. Roblox looks like it could get a big volume bar to the upside. I do get a little mighty 90 short. I'd like to see it maybe push up to that pivot before I got short on it. Yeah, so Roblox already there. Target looking like it's going to get a big volume bar. So I'll look for a pullback in Roblox or continued pullback in Tesla. Morning, Deox. Tesla really hasn't gone too far on this five minute bar. In terms of in terms of price, it's been a pretty tight range here, this five minute bar. Roblox is actually a pretty tight range as well. It just looks a little bigger because the so tight here on the axis here. NVIDIA pushed all the way back up to highs. Amazon through highs. Roku potentially getting a big volume bar. Check toss on Roku. Yeah, it didn't quite get there and didn't quite get there and toss. Square, though, it didn't get there, but it's kind of setting up, look like maybe an upside runner, a continuation runner, if you're thinking about an early continuation runner there. See, it's had this nice push up, and then, well, it's already pushed back up. It looked like it was pausing here. So Roblox, we'll look at Roblox. It's pulled back a little. Yeah, pretty cheap options in Roblox. I'm going to pass on that. Tesla pushing up. Square pushing up. Roku just didn't quite get there. Although I've played, I've I've played those as upside runners once that close. I mean, you can kind of see it's just almost there. So I think I'm gonna jump in a little Roku here. Trade the 72 calls in Roku. Filled at 220. 
So if it pushes down much further than right there, I would just bail on it. So I, I consider this a a low risk trade because if it were to push down through there, I would just bail on it. Tesla man really pushing up. Kicking myself for not getting into that one. I would close half of my Roku at 245. Just put that in in case I'm not looking. Arge with a big volume bar. Microsoft, though, coming down through lows. And Disney really reversed. Kicking myself for missing that Tesla. That's where being aggressive would have definitely paid off. I was kind of looking at target maybe to get long, but it, it, it didn't pull back much and it didn't stay down very, very long. So yeah, I would love to see some good mighty nineties, man. Roku also one of the stronger stocks today up 2%. So, Another reason I got in it. A lot of times if the market's strong and and this bought this volume bar is you know a tick away from being as big as the first, I'll, I'll still get in them. Tesla with another big volume bar. Yeah, Square. I thought Square looked like it wants to go higher. A lot of times you get, you know, a nice two bar push and then a little pause and it just, you know, it'll it'll continue upward. Costco got a big volume bar. No pullback, really. It is Tesla. I probably would have been out of all my contracts by now if I would have gotten in. That's some P up 10. Filled at 245 in Roku. Close half. So can Roku get through that pivot? That's the question. That Baidu Mighty 90 is working. Super tight range, though. Close another Roku at 265. <clears throat> I 
Yeah, Tesla, Tesla not uh, really pausing at all. That would have been one you would have had to have been super aggressive to get in because like it pushed up here and got that big bar and it just, I mean, it barely came down any and just, it was just kind of sitting there, you know, and if you're aggressive that's, and it works for you, that's great. But, you know, a lot of times if you're aggressive, then, you know, it might pull back down to like yesterday's high and then go up. So I think if it would have came back down to yesterday's high, I would have gotten filled. See, Roblox is so, I mean, it just hasn't really gone anywhere since this big bar. Yeah, Bitey really coming down now. Not much in terms of signals for Mighty 90s again today. UK and G might have a mighty 90 there. What's DK and G's options spread like right now? Yeah, still pretty tight. I'm going to try that. I'm going to jump in a little DK and G though. To 29.5 calls so it can be over a dollar. Try to get filled at a dollar five. Pretty tight range, too, so. Roku getting another big volume bar. I'm going to adjust my DKNG. Filled at a dollar eight. That was the 29.5 calls. So actually kind of playing it like an upside continuation runner pushed up. It did have a mighty 90, but um, that volume bar did turn green, but you know, we'll pause here. want to see it push. You could probably get a better fill than I got. So if DKNG goes below right here, I would just cut it. JPM firing up. Man, it's going to get a big volume bar to the upside. Okay, so DKNG coming down further than I wanted it to. I'm going to part ways with DKNG. Build it a dollar three. So you know, one thing to learn from when I do that is like I try to get a good fill, and I have a, I have a, I have a point where I'm going to cut it if it 
passes through that point. And so it just becomes a small losing trade. So again, that's what you want to do is you want to minimize your losses, right? So to me, like, you know, I don't trade DKNG much anymore, but um, you know, if it would have ripped higher, it would have been a winner. And if it came down any, you know, it's just going to be a small losing trade. So I'm okay with that. Tesla pausing a little bit. And so, you know, it could be a time where you look for continuation runners to the upside, like in Tesla, but you also have to be careful. Like it could take, you know, three, four bars for it to consolidate before it continues to push or things could fall apart. So you can't just jump in right at the first sign of a red bar here in Tesla. So I hope that makes sense. So JPM and getting the getting a big volume bar here. I'm gonna look at jumping in some JPM for an upside volume runner. And I would trade the 145 calls. But let me how much time we got left here? Less than a minute. Okay, I'm gonna jump in here. Build at 315. So I got aggressive there because we're in our last minute. Wow. Intel really pushing up. Video really pushing up. Tesla still going up. Roblox still going up. DKNG flushed me out. So if JPM pushes below here, I would just bail on it. I've got an order at 345 to close half my JPM. Build at 265 on uh, Roku. Build at 265 to close a quarter of Roku. Uh, JPM was the 145 call. And uh, I got filled at 315. And it's, it's pushed up, but... Price hasn't moved much, but I guess you can see how tight a range it is. So, yeah, I wanted I wanted JPM to do here what Intel's doing. JPM really hasn't moved much. I mean, it looks like it's moved, but it really hasn't. Close another Roku at 285. (laughs) 
build to 285 to close a quarter of Roku. Three Roku's left. That would close another another one at 305. I'll just put that in just to in case it pushes up. JP, I'm trying to go now. Roku with another big volume bar. Tesla could be a potential for an upside continuation runner now. So it's pushed up and now it's kind of Pausing. So I think I'm going to get long Tesla here for a continuation runner. Let's see Tesla continuation to the upside 265 calls filled at 510. So was aggressive on that one. Build at 305 in Roku to close a quarter. So I got two Roku's left. JPM just not really going anywhere, man. I thought I might get filled on half of that too. Close another Roku at 325. These are my favorite trades. Uh, upside volume runner like Roku's doing. Big volume bar, pull back a little bit, jump, jumped in, and then it just takes off. Ah, DKNG, you rat. It did what I thought it would do. It just pushed down too far and I got out. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Well, you know, you got some satisfaction in knowing that you were right about what the price action was going to do. NVIDIA is looking like potential upside continuation as well. It's got push up, a little pause here. So, but, you know, as, un as unstable as the markets have been over the last couple months, you know, you got to be careful because they can, they can push up and then they could push all the way back down through lows really quickly. But that is what we look for, and we look for a little two to three bar pullback before it rips again. But still a couple minutes left here, you know. So I mean NVIDIA could fall farther than you want it to.
the Tesla wanted to just hold right there. Yeah, square. That was one I could have would have been a winner if I'd have been aggressive. Sometimes it's hard to be aggressive on, uh, you know, getting long when it's been just an unstable market. See, look at Goog. It's coming down through lows of day. So you just never know, man. I filled at 325 to get rid of another Roku. So I only got one Roku left. Not very often do I just completely scale out just with half and then just one contract at a time. JPM, you beautiful thing, you. Built at 345 in JPM to close half. Hopefully you got back in JPM, Bumblebee. I would get out of another JPM at 375. Good deal. Tesla just wanted to hold right there. Don't you do me wrong, Tesla. Yeah, I'm I'm watching Tesla closely. So I'm kind of watching Nvidia and Tesla right here. If it goes, yeah, if it if it turns red here, I'm bailing. As long as it stays green, I'm gonna hold. Honestly, on a continuation to the upside, right here is about where I should have gotten. That's This would have been the best place to get in right about here. But I was aggressive because it was so strong. So, so far, so good. Coinbase going through highs of day. I'm a bail on Tesla. I'm just not liking what I'm seeing. Filled at 475. Just not. It it could come down a little bit more and then it might end up pushing back up through highs. I'm just just not liking what I was seeing there. I 
can see NVIDIA coming down. So Roku, I got one left. I'll keep an eye on it as well. Man, Square would have been a nice one to be aggressive in. So that's what I was wanting Tesla to do, where it paused and then, you know, Square kind of paused right here, but then it, it took off. Tesla could still do that. So that was a case where I, you know, being aggressive kind of hurt me there in Tesla. Zoom pretty much straight up. And I might re back, I might re back, re enter Tesla here. I don't know. I, mean, I don't usually don't do that, but it's pretty much holding. Man, square. Intel with a big volume bar. Yeah, Target. Target was one I was looking at getting long. Feeling, I have a feeling Tesla's going to take off, but we will see. We're just letting this one contract ride in Roku right now. So Tesla's about right where I first entered right now. And I kind of regretting getting out of it now. I'm going to jump in some more Tesla here. Filled at 490 on the same 265 calls. So I was a little wishy-washy. And now it's coming back down. Thanks, Jim. Yeah, I probably should get out of my last contract in Roku as well. Let me take a look at it. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get out of it. Filled at 365 to close Roku. So got in at 220 out of everything at 365. Yeah, so Rook, so Tesla, gosh dang it. I really just talked myself in and out of Tesla. I really talked myself in and out of it. The thing is, is I could have been getting better fills than what I was getting. You know, sometimes you just don't play a stock very good, you know? That happens.
you know, I think as long as it holds right there, I might be okay. Yeah, Tesla's just, I just haven't played it very well. JPM kind of pausing. I got out of half. Man, look at Square. I think it would have been a monster winner. Darn it. So I've definitely missed. I mean, I've gotten some good trades here today, but I've missed out on some opportunities. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, Bumblebee, don't say Tesla was a bust yet. I still got my fingers crossed. Yeah, Roku, man, just all green bars, just kind of like uh, Square. I guess Square had a little red bar there. but And DKNG did me dirty. Look at this. So it dipped its toe down below that price level, and then it has come up. Would have been a nice winner. So that's what I'm saying. I've missed out on some opportunities for sure. So I'm in JPM and Tesla for the second time. The thing about Tesla is you've got, let's see, well, 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. In the last 30 minutes, it just really hasn't moved much at all. So it just needs to hold right there. Dow up 156, NASDAQ up 80, S&P up 25. So it's been a good push up with the indices. It's had quite the breather. I would just prefer it just to go up from this point forward. It's it's right at my cut line. I mean, I could probably forecast what's going to happen here. It's going to go down a little bit more. I'm going to bail out on it. And then it's going to do what DKNG did and rip through highs of day. <laughs> I've seen that game a lot. Baba just grinding up, square grinding up. Ah, here we go.
the thing about it is too is like I could have could have gotten better fills both times I've tried this. So, uh, so really, not being aggressive cost me square. Not being aggressive cost me Tesla the first time. Then I was aggressive, and it didn't do me any good the, second, the third time. And then the fourth time, it cost me. It could still cost me. I'll see you later, Bumblebee. I'll be live tomorrow again. I'm going to add to Tesla. Build at 445 to add. Seems to be holding things. Continues to seem to be staying strong. Like, look at DKNG. Jeez, man, that would have been a nice winner. So add it in to Tesla thinking it's just it's holding. It's going to eventually take off here. Look at Apple's looking like it wants to go through highs. Roku's still going up. Man, Square DKNG would have been just good winners for me. Target, too. I was looking at that one. I left a lot on the table today. Left a lot on the table. What's JPM doing? It's kind of pausing. Real tight range in JPM. So when you have those tight ranges, it just doesn't pay out well. Well, don't think I'm going to get in anything else. So here's what I'm going to do. As long as Tesla holds here, I'm, I'm going to just scale out if it, go, if it goes up, hopefully. If it pushes down any lower than this, I'll just cut it. And then same thing with JPM. You know, if it, if it just starts grinding and it's not going where, I'll just close it. If it looks like it wants to push through highs, um, I'll just scale out. If it comes down any lower, I'll probably just close it. So use your discretion on those two if you're in those two. Um, use your discretion here with Tesla. Least, let me, I'll stay on here for the finish of this bar. Just we'll see what it does here. It's flipped green, so maybe it's getting close to taking off. <laughs> Can't square. Goodness. I've got an order in at uh, $5 to close half my Tesla. I may adjust that. And see how rapid it pushes up here. We've got a, we're halfway through this bar, so. You know, like Apple's pushing, I'm hoping it takes off here. Apple's pushing up to highs of day. And Roku's still going up. Look at it very easily. 
Filled it five bucks. Little boy Tesla. I had a feeling. Getting some of my Tesla back. Okay, so I'll just scale out of Tesla and JPM. I'll just scale out of it. Or if it, it looks like it wants, if things start getting weak, I'll just cut it. So, all right, guys, I'll be back tomorrow. So use, use your discretion if you're in Tesla and JPM. Um, but uh, I'll be back tomorrow. And I'll post my fills on these uh, trades. I've got, a, I've got an order in at 5 uh, 45 to close another Tesla. So if I get my fills, I will post them in the day trades channel. See everybody tomorrow. Peace.